One of the best ways to learn mathematics isn't just by solving problems, but by solving one problem in multiple ways. This is the third of nine solutions to a system of equations with a parameter. We need to find all values of the parameter a for which this system of equations has a unique solution. This time we're going to use graphs and elementary geometry. Let's again treat the first equation as the equation of a circle with center 0, 0 and radius 10. The second equation represents a line that, depending on the parameter, is shifted up or down, remaining parallel to itself. The system has a unique solution when the line is tangent to the circle. This line forms a right angle triangle with the coordinate axis, and the height of this triangle is the radius of a circle, or 10. To find the legs of this triangle, we need to find the x and y intercepts of this line. To do this, we substitute y equals 0 into the line of the equation, which gives us 3x equals a, or x equals a over 3. So this leg of a triangle is a over 3. Similarly, the other leg of the triangle is a over 4. Next, we apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse. So we have a square root of a over 3 squared plus a over 4 squared, which after some calculations gives us 5a over 12. And that's the hypotenuse. To find the value of a, we set up two expressions for the area of this triangle. So we have 1 half times a over 4 times a over 3. And on the other hand, we have 1 half times 5a over 12 times 10. And if we carefully solve this simple equation, we get a equals 50, which is one of the two values of the parameter a that we were looking for. The other is a equals minus 50 when the line is tangent to the circle from the other side. And that's the answer. To see the other methods of solving this problem with parameter, check out the full video.